Hello, I'm Charlie Williams, Chair of the NCMA Standards Consensus Body, or the SCB, and past NCMA President. And here with me is Penny White, Vice Chair of the SCB and past NCMA President. In this video, we will share more information on the importance of standards, the role of the SCB in developing and maintaining standards, and how you can participate in our standard setting efforts. NCMA has been an ANSI accredited standard setting body since early 2018 and we have an ANSI approved standard known as the Contract Management Standard. An American National Standard is developed through consensus-based activities of an accredited authoritative organization for common and repeated use to improve productivity, increase efficiency, and reduce cost. In the case of the Contract Management Standard, we seek to establish a common language to benefit all in the contract management, procurement, and acquisition related functions. NCMA established the SCB to oversee the development and maintenance of our standards to ensure we meet our goals of a common language and a broad adoption. SCB members are appointed for three-year terms by the NCMA president, and they represent all aspects of contract management, to include government and commercial buyers and sellers, professors, professional services providers, and consultants. We have a duty to maintain a balance of interest among practice perspectives of the various groups represented, and NCMA membership is not a requirement to serve on the SCB. But for the SCB to function properly, we must have input from you, those who practice in the profession. When a new standard is to be developed or updated, NCMA asks for your help by participating in a Job Task Analysis, or JTA. This is a study using an online survey tool to capture your assessment on covered job tasks, how frequently you use them, and their importance to your job. And for completeness, there's an area to capture job tasks that you believe are important but are not covered. The SCB analyzes the data and confers to develop a draft standard for the SCB to vote. The next step is for the draft standard to receive comments from the wider community through a public comment period opened by NCMA and ANSI. Once the comment period closes, every commenter receives a response as to whether their comment was accepted, accepted with modification, or not accepted for inclusion. ANSI is copied on every response and commenters are not required to be an NCMA member to participate. The SCB then finalizes the standard with the accepted and modified comments and votes to approve the final draft. From there, the NCMA Board of Directors votes to approve the submission of the final draft to ANSI. Once ANSI provides the final approval, the document becomes a formal American National Standard. When the SDB is not working on a standard, it reviews and adjusts to feedback from annual ANSI audits. These audits are to ensure NCMA properly maintains its standards, processes, and procedures for ongoing health and wellness of our efforts. We hope you now have a clearer idea on what it takes to develop and maintain standards. And we hope we can count on you to participate in our JTAs and calls for public comments. And you can learn more about the Contract Management Standard at ncmahq.org slash cms or contact us by email at standards at ncmahq.org. Thank you for your support of the NCMA community and our standard setting efforts.